Have you ever had some kind of issue that wasn't healing itself, emotional or physical? You go to a doctor or a therapist and they say, what's wrong? Or what do you want to work on if you have a whole list of things? Well, and then you leave after getting your adjustment, if it's a chiropractor or your therapy session, but then a few hours later, or maybe even by the time you get back to your car, all the helpful stuff is gone. Has that ever happened to you? And do you wonder why that happens to you? Well, if you've been following our episodes every week, I've been doing them in a very particular order so you can really grasp this is how the body, mind, spirit works. Your body, your spirit, the universe has a priority order. And if you're choosing what you think you want to work on, you're getting very specific. You're limiting what the universe can do for you to clear whatever that issue is. And if it's not a priority, it's not going to last very long. On the other hand, when you get the priority, a whole bunch of stuff under it's going to clear and you don't have to keep going back and back and back to clear all the other stuff because it will all dissipate when your energy is freed up. When I started working with people, it was close to 30 years ago, I would ask them, What's bothering you? Give me the list of everything. And I'd make a whole list. I write it on a piece of paper and I put it on their energy center. Yes, your body reads words that are on it. So if you have tattoos, if you're wearing clothing with words, your body is responding to the energy of those words. I'm going to repeat that again, because maybe you never thought about it. Your body responds to any words on it. Tattoos, clothing, brand names. So I was working with people and I was clearing and making sure that everything on their list was clear. Here's what's interesting. Maybe they had five different things that were bothering them. Maybe they had a headache or their knee was bothering them. Maybe they were having um, upset with someone with whom they're in relationships. The thing is, if I took them one by one and then I muscle tested, you have 14 organ systems. Okay, you have your brain, you have your intestines, you have your kidney, you have your liver. Every organ has a whole system and they all connect to meridians, to glands, to chakras, to your spinal column and to muscles. Back then I only tested 14 muscles. So I got a picture of what was going on for somebody. Well, if I would take that list of five things and test and see which muscles were involved, I get five different pictures. So after a while, I thought, hmm, if I'm making a specific list, I'm limiting the universe in what it can clear for us. So I said, okay, I'm not going to do that anymore. And I stopped doing that. And I started being open, measuring, I use 40 di- five, 45 different muscles when I test now, and I get a really complete picture of what's going on for somebody physically, emotionally, and spiritually. But I don't stop there. I ask, which is the priority? Which system is a priority? Because I don't want to waste my time and energy, because it takes a whole lot of energy, even though the energy is channeling through me, it takes a lot of energy for me to work on somebody. And this is really interesting. I always found it interesting when I work on people, they get sleepy, they'd fall asleep, and I keep having to tell them, stay with me, stay with me. 
Why? Because your mind, that ego mind, doesn't want to lose its control, it wants you to keep your body with all its problems intact, just as it is, no changes. Thank you very much. So when I would work with a priority and a whole bunch of stuff would clear, it was unpredictable what kind of stuff was going to clear. Yes, the issues cleared the whole gamut of issues. So it wasn't the, well, let's work on A today. Come back next week, we'll work on B. Come back the week after, we'll work on C. And you have to keep going back and going back and going back because you didn't clear the priority, which would have cleared a whole bunch of that stuff anyway. So where I went after that is talking about the fact that your spirit knows a whole lot more than your mind is ever, ever, ever going to even stand a chance of knowing. To know and to trust what's going on. To trust the universe always has your highest and best interest in mind. Always. So when cruddy things are happening, and it doesn't seem to clear up. Here's a recommendation. See how this works for you. Just ask your body part or the emotional part. What is it I'm not seeing? What is it that I'm not learning? What is it that I could change for myself that will allow it to clear up? Notice I said, for myself, you for yourself, because nobody does anything to you. Everything happens for you. Eleanor Roosevelt said it succinctly. You can't keep a good man down without his permission. Nobody does anything to hurt you. They do things to wake you up to what you're not seeing. They're helping you get attention for yourself so that you can heal what's going on. There are all kinds of miraculous healings that happened once I came upon that discovery. And so I've been working to help you understand, always trust and tune in, tune in, tune in. Well, I put the universe always shows me, takes me down the path and shows me what to share with you and when. And I've been using, you can see one here, oops. <laughs> Looks like a band-aid. It is not a band-aid. It's a phototherapy patch. It's one of the technologies that I use. Here's one when it looks like before I take off the backing and put it where it needs to go. Now, the fact that I picked it up in my hand, I've activated it. There are no chemicals in it. There's nothing that it's going to put onto my body. I don't always put it right on my body. I frequently put it on my clothing. But as soon as I picked it up, as soon as it's within three inches of my body, it's activated and I can feel it working. There's something going on with my heart today. So I'm going to take off this backing. I'm going to put it right here. So it's close to where my heart is. And I put it right on top of my clothing. And I'm pretty sensitive to things, so I can feel there's something going on. You may or may not feel something going on. But the fact is, I'm not putting anything. There are no chemicals going in me. It's just waking up what's already inside my body. And because it's waking up what I need, each patch has a different 
formulation of the crystal. So it's waking up certain frequencies, certain wavelengths, and serving a particular purpose for me. Now, when you're using these patches, you'll get a chart that says optimally put this patch here or put that patch there. Well, I like to tune into what my body and spirit are telling me. So the first thing I do every morning is make sure my running, my energy is running accurately and there, nothing switched. My brain is working both separate hemispheres and hemispheres working together. So I know when I ask a question, I'm getting an accurate response. So I ask, where's the best place to put this patch right now? And it could vary day to day, depending on what I don't know is going on out of awareness in my body. But my spirit's never wrong. So what I realized is these patches are like a skip go and go right to the success of your health wellness and happiness because they take you right there. So while you're learning and discovering who you are, who you are, not who you think you are, it's not about your brain, but who you really are, your essence, your presence, when you discover that, your life changes. And this is like the short, the shortcut to getting all the mess, the misaligned stuff cleared while you're delving within, learning how to discover your essence. Now, you know, every week I recommend something for you, and I'm recommending Eckhart Tolle's. This time is a webinar that he did. The flowering of human consciousness. And I loved the way he said it at the end. He said, this isn't a self-development seminar. It's a self-diminishing seminar. Because what he's teaching in it is how to get out of your mind. Stop being that personality and be who you really are. And you see that with Dr. Joe Dispenza. He teaches you how to break the habit of being yourself. Edgar Tully's doing the same thing. And I also love John Maxwell. He's telling you the same thing, both from a spiritual perspective and from a business life success perspective so it doesn't matter how you're coming at it what language you're using it's all the same thing get to your essence so you can go in the show notes and you can find the what i'm recommending this week from eckhart tolle now i thank you very very much for being here to discover the very next step that we've been progressing along energy-wise, show to show to show, so things can become clear for you. I'm Allie Bierman. I'm actually Reverend Allie Bierman, and you are here with us today for Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. Please join our Facebook group. And you can also visit our website where you can watch or listen to any of our well over 100 episodes. Find the ones that are speaking to you where you are on your life, on your spiritual journey now. Because the cool thing that I love about the podcast, both in the audio and in the video versions, you can find what you are ready for now. I appreciate your joining our community. And you can do that with the link also in the show notes. And that lets you join me 
every month for a live video call where you can ask questions. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about what you want to know more about. And I super appreciate if you got something out of today's information, sharing, episode, if something got you thinking or moved you in some way, maybe in a new direction, thank you for sharing by talking to two friends and turning them on to the show, either through their podcast player, through YouTube, or through our site. Oh, and be sure you check the show notes for all the other goodies, the surprises that are there, including a special offer from Audible. A whole 30 days to explore this site. Find some incredible podcasts, audio books, magazines, stuff you may not see any place else. Enjoy. Capital I N, capital J O Y, every moment. Because nothing in your life, nothing happens outside of you. Everything happens within you. It's called biocentrism. I've talked about it before. Maybe that's where I'll go next week. And I very much look forward to being here with you next time.